Are you suffering from artist block? Here are three tips to fix your issues. Tip number one, go spend some time at Pixabay, Unsplash, or Wildlife Reference Photos. Pixabay and Unsplash are both free. Wildlife Reference Photo has a small fee for really, really high quality references, but spend a bit of time there and you're, it's inevitable. You will find something to paint or draw. Now don't expect every single thing to top or be better than your last project. I think that this is a huge misconception that a lot of artists have. They do something amazing, they're super proud of it, and now they have to think of something as good or better. That's not really how it works. I mean, it'd be great if it did, but it'd also be great if Texas wasn't scorching hot all summer long. We've got to deal with it. So what you want to do in between periods of artist block, or when you, and it's not even artist block, you're just not thinking of something super creative or something amazing, or that what you think might be amazing. Work on something else in the meantime. Go open your refrigerator and pick something and draw it. You may be thinking, but I don't want to draw a ketchup bottle. That's boring. Okay, draw an octopus holding a ketchup bottle. I don't know. Pick something, anything, just grab anything and start drawing. Any practice is better than no practice while you sit around being indecisive. My second tip is to give yourself a time limit on when you actually start your project. I have seen way too many students do this, where they will spend two weeks, they used to come to my class, spend two weeks of class time just to pick the perfect reference photo. That was two weeks. They could have had actual instruction where they were learning and actually practicing their art. So give yourself a limit. If you are really struggling with artist block, I would say no more than an hour. Now, I'm not saying you should always limit yourself to an hour to come up with ideas and designs and, and researching reference photos. I'm saying if you are in a place right now where you just can't think of anything, give yourself one hour to be ready to start drawing. And then this goes back to tip number one, where you just want to pick anything. What will happen is if you are spending so much time, let's say you spent the next month trying to think of this most amazing idea and you you just weren't really working it out. You that in that month of time, how many other paintings, quick sketches, drawings, anything could you have gotten done? In which case all of those little things, even a ketchup bottle, would have improved your technical skill. So you were still benefiting. If you're just sitting around on the couch or reading books or whatever it is that you like to do and you're not actually working with your art, you're just wishing that a magical muse pops up because that's not how that works, by the way. Um, if you're just waiting for that muse to show up and give you an idea, you lost out on so much art time that you could have, no if nothing else, even if your ideas were terrible, you would have been perfecting your technical skill, but you didn't. You waited and did nothing and didn't benefit at all waiting for this great idea to pop up. Ketchup bottles not looking so bad now, is it? Now, tip number three really deals with preventing artist block from ever popping up again. Give yourself a deadline for a certain amount of projects you want to complete, whether it be a month, a week. It depends on how much time you have and how long it takes you to complete something. So be realistic. Your time frame or your goals for that time may not be the same as mine. But for me, I need to get a new painting or drawing every single week so I have something for YouTube and Patreon. It's, well, in my case, it's my job. So that is my whole focus there. But you want to give yourself some sort of a deadline. When I first started with YouTube and I heard it was best if I had a new video every week, I'm thinking, how am I going to get a painting done every week? That's that's ridiculous. No, it actually wasn't hard at all. But it was one of the best changes I made in my entire career. My Like, huge. It's just huge. Now, keep in mind, I'm not saying don't rush your work. If it takes you longer, then it takes you longer. But still set a deadline for yourself, whatever is reasonable. But because I had that deadline, I went from producing maybe one painting a, a month, one painting every other month, to one a week. I have hundreds and hundreds of paintings and drawings I have completed, which means improving my own skill just because... I gave myself a deadline. And it sounds scary. You think, I don't want a deadline. That sounds confining. I want to paint and draw when I'm in the mood for it. I mean, that's great if you don't suffer from this thing we call artist block. But you find yourself in a place where you want to be an artist, but you can never think of, of things. Give yourself a deadline. Once a week, I'm going to have a new, even if it's just a sketch. Once a week, there's going to be something and it has to be done by this time, this day. But it will really push you to hurry up and choose something. You're not going to have time screwing around trying to decide what to paint or draw. You just have to grab something and pick something. It was just the biggest difference in the world in pushing my work forward, both skill level and the amount of work that I'm able to accomplish. Now, again, don't rush. If you find yourself like with me, I have my goal set. I need a new piece done every week. If I am working on a project, like I'm trying to think what was the graphite, the girl in graphite I did recently, that took me three weeks. So I broke it up into, okay, week one, this is my goal because I know reasonably I can get that done in one week. So I don't want to rush work. I'm not encouraging you to rush your work. I'm encouraging you to set goals for the work. So in this case, I needed more time. I had this section week one, this section week two, this section week three. And I knew I had to be done with each of those sections by that time. So I still had my goal. So I've had people criticize me 
when I've talked about doing goals about how it makes you rush your work and you don't you don't get you don't improve. I think one girl was talking about people not improving if they have goals and I'm thinking I don't think you understand how this works. That is the opposite of how that works. Again, don't rush, but do be reasonable in the goals that you want to set. And it will force you out of being able, you don't have time for artist block. When you don't have time and you just have to grab something and paint it, whether it be something you found in your fridge, a rock you found out, found, found outside. I'm looking outside of my patio right now, maybe my cast iron plant. It has a flamingo in it. That would actually be kind of a cute drawing. You're shocked. I have flamingos in my plants. I should move to Florida. But when you have to pick something and you're on that deadline, there's no time for artist blocks. I hope those three tips help you. If you have a tip that you like for getting over these little phases of artist block that we go through, leave that in the description and you never know what other artists you may help out. Have you subscribed yet? If not, I have a handy button right there. It's round, has an orange arrow, orange arrow, I can't talk, an orange arrow going towards it. If you click on that, that'll help you to keep up to date with all of my new art videos every single week and me stumbling over words also every single week.